interesting it isn't it with the reality tv show that was Meghan markle all sorts of things throw up as untrues not trues and all that sort of stuff but it's also really interesting now i find that the bbc are planning to hit back that's right the bbc themselves were far from unshamed as we've seen earlier this year they were in the debacle of course of still employing the disgraced journalist who interviewed the late and beautiful princess diana martin bashir that's right but it was this particular situation that evolved on that recent screening that really became a hot topic particularly when the people in question then decided to answer back which is kind of not the normal form for people of that caliber within the bbc as ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And as ever, nice to have your company. You will remember, of course, when Harry and Meghan sat down for that interview, they kept you know, wanting to do all sorts of things, didn't they? Set the record straight, all of that type of thing. But the very first time that we truly, for many people, saw Meghan Markle, the actress, was this. The very first sort of sit down with the BBC for their engagement interview. And even during this, she tried to play a particular character, dressed in olive green, being a little bit cocky, dismissive, and not necessarily the sort of person we were used to within the British monarchy. But nonetheless, she was welcomed with open arms. Now, of course, on that reality TV show, she described this particular episode as uh, orchestrated reality and how they were guided and told exactly what to say. Now, as ever, here's where it gets interesting, because when you are invited to those particular events, you're certainly not guided on what to say. What you are guided on is who's going to sit where, the lighting, can we do a microphone check, a few words for sound, that sort of stuff. It's not negative, you know, it's just kind of the basics, so we're not wasting your time. A lot of the time, they use stand-ins as well, so that you are only brought in at the very final moment, you know, that's the deal. So again, you know, she's twisted that into something totally different. And Mega would know this being in a low-grade TV show like Suits, you know. The budgets are tight, they don't necessarily have stand-ins, so this would have been something of a luxury for her. But here's where, as ever, it gets really strange, because according to the BBC, they're quite willing to upturn their full, unedited version of that particular interview. Now, what you will have noticed also with that particular interview is the BBC's camera angle is totally different to that of Harry and Meghan's, you'll notice. But that's because, according to a very good source, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, right from the off, the ex-royal couple were deciding to film everything in their advantage. Now, we don't know if this was for their reality show at the time, or their deep mistrust, as they pointed out, of the British media. But it does seem strange, doesn't it, that on a very happy day, a moment that should have been cherishable, and really it's all about being in love, giddy, and of course sharing it with the world, the world, of course, which gave you a wonderful multi-million pound wedding that you then described rather dismissively as a spectacle that you should decide to record it. So clearly they have that full footage. Clearly they know exactly how they were portrayed and put across. But as ever, according to those ex-royals, it wasn't necessarily the thing that they were happy with. Now, moving forward, as we often say here on the show, it would be enlightening to see the other side of the camera. The reporter, Michelle Hussein, has hit back out at the ex-royals on social media, basically saying that simply didn't happen. But how many more times do people have to keep coming forward saying this is simply not true for the ex-royals to get it, that they're not the only ones that can create their own narrative, true or not? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.